Hello, this is Kristen at Servantech, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at using the Media Manager in Joomla 3.0. So, the way that we'll navigate to the Media Manager, there's actually a couple ways. You can use this link over here on the right hand side, or you can go up to Content, and you'll see the Media Manager is in the drop down menu under Content. Now once you get to the Media Manager, there's two ways to view your content. And depending on which one you choose, um, this will default to the view that you select. So the last time I was in the Media Manager, I had selected the Detail view, which is why I see everything appearing in a list. And you'll notice that each of my files not only show me the full file name, but they also show me the size of each file in pixels, as well as the size in kilobytes. So um, you can use this view of the images or the files in your media manager uh, just the same way you would use the thumbnail view, which I'll switch to now so you can take a look at that. And you'll notice that each file has a checkbox and it also has an X on it. If you wanted to delete a file, you would simply click the X. and you'll get a message letting you know that the delete has been completed and it'll show you the file that you deleted. If you needed to delete other files, you could simply put a checkbox in the boxes that you want to delete the file of and then scroll up to the top and press the delete key. Now, one more thing you'll need to do frequently in the Media Manager is upload your own content. And the way that you would do that is to click the Upload button in the upper left-hand corner. Once you do that, you'll notice that we have an option now to upload a file, and we can choose the files on our own system. So we'll navigate to our own computer, and we will choose an image and open it. And once we say start upload, the image will be uploaded into the file that appears, the file folder that appears here below. So when I click upload on this file, I'm going to be uploading into the images folder, which is the main folder, which is holding each of these other folders and images. So I'm going to start the upload. Now, depending on the size of your file, this can take um, a little bit of time. So once your file is uploaded, it will appear in the box below. And you also have some other options in your Media Manager, which are located up right alongside the Upload button. You can create a folder, which is um, just allows you to name a folder and create it within the directory that you are currently working in. So, for instance, right now we are in the Images folder. If I were to create a folder here, it would appear inside the Images folder. Now, once our image has uploaded, you'll see that the files will refresh and we can scroll to see our image, which actually is right here. Now, I uploaded a pretty large image, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this because we don't need to take up space here. And it's gone. It's been deleted. So um, there's a few other options if you click on the Options button. Um, you can see there's a way to um, only upload certain file types. Um, it'll allow you to give the, the file types that you want your backend users to be able to upload here. And then you can see um, the default folder is the images folder. And then um, you can also choose specific image extensions. So if you needed to upload a different image type that's not listed here, you can edit these as well. And those are the basics of the Media Manager. So thanks for taking a look at our tutorial, and be sure to check back in for more tutorials in the future.